Do you know you're 42% more likely to achieve your goals just by writing them down? Let me ask you, have you written down your goals? Have you decided what you want your life to look like 12 months from now? Do you know who you want to become, what you want to be doing? Do you know what habits that you'd like to have established in your life or how you would like to spend your day? How about your work ethic? Do you know what you want that to look like? Or how about when you look in the mirror, who do you want to see? What do you want to be known for? Who do you want to surround yourself with? Today, we're going to talk about writing our vision down in a journal, a dream board, whatever it might be, and we're basing it on the scripture in Habakkuk that says to write the vision down. Now, what does a vision journal or a dream journal look like? What does it do for your life? does three things that I can think of. Number one, it keeps you moving forward. You don't want to stay stagnant in your life. You want to keep moving forward. And when you have a vision of where you want to be, you keep your hopes up. You get these dreams alive in your heart and in your mind. And every single day when you wake up, you can look at that and you know where you want to go. Number two, a dream journal or vision journal keeps you on track. See, when you get off course, it helps you get back on the roadmap. It helps you to weed out the distractions because you have a clear cut goal where you want to be and you're just not going to let anything take you off course. That dream journal shows you how to show up for yourself every single day. And then thirdly, it puts you in the driver's seat. Listen, there's nothing worse than life leading you. You need to be leading life. And having a dream journal causes you to wake up with a mission and do all that you can to go after the life of your dreams. Your dream journal needs to be very clear and very specific. You know, I looked at one of my dad's Bibles. My dad's been gone for about 24 years. He passed away in 1999. But way back when, I found this where he wrote down his specific goals for his health. And it's so interesting because You know, I didn't realize how much of an example he was to me and and how he showed me how to write the vision down and be very clear, very specific. And I love this. Here's some of the things he wrote. He wanted to have a physical body completely healed and whole. He wanted his arteries free. He wanted his blood circulation normal, his blood pressure 120 over 80. He wanted to have radiant, glowing health through his whole body and wanted just everything to be perfect in his body. I love that I found that, first of all, and I love, again, how my dad was so specific. He knew what he wanted his life to look like. When you're writing down your dream journal or formulating that or a vision board, you need to be specific. You need to write down and put pictures down of things that excite you. Your dream should cause a little discomfort because you're going to do something new. Your dream and your vision journal should challenge you to get comfortable being uncomfortable. You're going to new places. You're taking the limits off of your life. Now, when it comes to dream journals, I have two. And my first one that I have is a physical journal that um, I just keep beside my bed. And I write down everything that, you know, I'm looking forward to seeing in the next 12 months. And every single morning, I open this up and I read it like it's the first time I've ever read it. And what I like to do is back the different categories with scriptures. And if you open up my journal, you'll see that the first thing that I wrote down was the vision. And I wrote the scripture down, write the vision down. And then I have it in different categories. Like, for instance, the first one is family. And I back that with the scripture found in Joshua, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. So I would start from a foundational place, knowing that God wants my family united together in serving the Lord. And then I'm very clear and specific about what I'm believing God for my family. Next, I write down the different ministry, events, YouTube, Instagram. I write down specific goals for each one of those things. And I back it with this scripture, 1 Corinthians 10, 31. Whatever I do, do it all for the glory of God. I love that scripture. And to me, it's just important for me to write down the scriptures. And then another category I have is a house. I'm, I have a specific house in mind. And in my mind, I'm very clear. I put down pictures of what I want in that house and that property. And the scripture that I have for that is Deuteronomy 6.11. You'll have houses filled with good things waiting for you. Cisterns to hold water already dug out of the rock for you. And vineyards and olive orchards that you didn't have to plant. You'll have all that you want to eat and more. 
that's a good scripture. So I write that down and, and I just know, it helps me know that God wants good things for my life. Then another one that I have, and maybe this is you, a car, eventually I'll get a new car. Psalm 37, four, delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. Have a picture of the car, specifics, paid off, you know, whatever you need to do. If you're wanting to put a car down on your journal, get specific about it, the color, the brand. And, and if you wanna pay cash, then put that down. Be very specific. Another area is finances. And so I'm very specific about what I want for my finances. The scriptures that I write down, Deuteronomy 8.18, remember the Lord your God, for it is he who gives you the ability to produce wealth. You know, if you wanna have more finances, you gotta know that God wants that for you. And as you're faithful to his word, then God's gonna bless you. And just be specific. How much money do you wanna save? How much do you wanna put in a Roth IRA? How much do you wanna put in such and such place? Be clear and be specific, have it measurable. And then I just have other areas in my life as well that I write down in this journal. So this is the first way that I do it. The second type of dream journal that I have is digitally and I upload on Pinterest. I do a private locked board and I look at that every single day. It's filled with my vision, my dreams, my goals. I have inspirational quotes. I have God's promises. I have pictures of places and people and vacations and cars and house, my family, my hobbies. And I look at those every single day. In fact, every single day after I read my Bible and pray, I pull out my journal and my dream board and I go over everything that's on there. I read those quotes. I don't take them for granted. I pray over it and I thank God that he is helping me to bring those things to pass. The point is this, I stay focused on the goals. And you may say, why do I have to look at it every single day? Well, you don't. But this is the deal. The point is focus. Where your focus goes, your energy flows. So when you're creating your dream journal, find photos of beautiful places, of vacation spots that you'd like to go to. Find pictures of the home that you'd like, a happy family, the car you want. Choose photos that represent what you want and where you want to go. Now, if you want to be organized, maybe you put organizational photos. Maybe you put quotes about organization. If you want to exercise daily, put something up that motivates you to do so. Know where you want to go. Know financially, spiritually, emotionally. Know where you'd like to see your family and relationships. Know what you want to work on. Know where you want to go on vacation, the kind of friendships you want to have. Be specific. If you want to make so much money, then write it down. Put a picture of it. Don't be ashamed of it. Just This is just for you. You don't have to show anybody else. Know where you want to go and every day look at it so it keeps your focus. Now know this, that just because you make a vision board or a dream journal doesn't mean that everything's magically going to appear in your life. It simply means that it's going to keep you moving forward, it's going to keep you on track, and it's going to keep you in the driver's seat. No one can do this for you. You got to get serious about your life. You got to write the vision and keep it before you. Work towards your goals. Keep an attitude of gratitude and decide that the next part is going to be the best part. Hey, thanks for watching today. I hope today that you take this seriously. You go make your dream journal, your vision board, however you'd like to do it. And every single day, get serious about those goals. Stay focused. And until next time, I hope you have an amazing day.